so welcome back and in this session we are going to continue our discussion on checking the commutative property for the whole numbers and in this session particular session we'll be discussing about commutativity for multiplication and division of whole numbers so let us start with uh, checking the first one that is commutativity for multiplication now we will be using the number line as we did earlier for addition right and we have to take a pair of numbers to check this commutativity property so let us say for simplicity we are we will just take a simple uh, multiplication example we will take let's say we want to multiply 2 by 3 so let us do this operation on a number line so I'll just draw a number line here and uh, we just write down the numbers here and so on now in order for us to do this uh, uh, multiplication operation if you remember we have to jump in steps of two three times that's how we do so we start from zero and we jump in steps of two so this is our first jump that is we come from 0 to 2 1 then again we jump here this is 2 right and then again we jump here one more time so we come at 6 so using this we decide I mean we arrive at the result 2 multiplied by 3 is 6 which you can even do verbally right now what we do in order to check this we will be reversing the order of this operation so what we do is we will be doing it as 3 cross 2 now let us try to do this again using the number line so I will be just be drawing the number line over here as it is shown this is the number line and uh, we write down our numbers here okay and so what we have done now, see first we are multiplying two three times now we are multiplying three two times it's just the other way around and we have to see what what result are we getting so now we will be jumping two times in steps of three so we first take our first step which goes from zero to three and then again we jump in another step of three so again we arrive at six right so what does this prove this shows that when we are multiplying two whole numbers in any order we get the same result right so let us just write it here multiplying two whole numbers two whole numbers in any order it gives the same result and as a result of this we say that multiplication multiplication is commutative commutative for whole numbers or you can also say that multiplication of whole numbers follows the commutative property this is what we have derived based on our this should be r over here number right so uh, that, that that is the commutativity for multiplication now we would like to check whether the whole numbers follow commutativity when they are divided So now in this case again we will take just 
a pair two pairs of numbers let us say that I would like to divide 10 right by 2 so we know that 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 now what do we do in order to check for community commutativity we change the order of operations so 2 divided by 10 which is also represented as 2 by 10 definitely this is not equal to this right so so the result of this because 10 divided by 2 gives us 5 whereas 2 divided by 2 gives us 2 by 10 when I mean, you will learn later how to evaluate this but we, we did see that by swapping the numbers for division we are not getting the same answers and you can try this for another another example also let's say this was example 1 we can take another example let us say we try to divide 81 by 9 and this will give us 9 because 9 cross 9 is 81 now we change our order of operation that is change the order of numbers so we will be dividing 9 by 81 and this will give us 9 by 81 so again this one and this result right they are not similar to each other as we observed here so you can try this for any set of numbers right you can try this division for any set of numbers and you will find that results are different if the order of division is changed which implies that division is not commutative for whole numbers okay now uh, let us quickly summarize uh, as, as we come I mean this, this is what we have checked for the commutativity so I would just like to summarize how do we check for commutativity here uh, how to check for commutativity now this applies to all the four operations that we have studied addition subtraction multiplication and division so the first step you do is you take a pair of numbers and then you perform the operation by changing the order of the numbers right perform operation mathematical operation by changing the order of the numbers as we did in earlier examples and third thing you should do is check for the results check for the results if the results are same right that is the order of the op changing the order of the operation doesn't change the result then we say that that particular operation follows commutative property and we conclude that multiplication and addition followed if the results are not same or different then it then the operation doesn't follow commutative property commutative property or commutativity right and we also prove that division and subtraction do not follow commutative property so that was our final conclusive decision on uh, discussion on commutativity see you in the next session